It has been an interesting week to say the least in the crypto markets. We had yet another opportunity here to buy the dip again. Ethereum has continued on setting new all-time highs every week. Also, we were all reminded that there's a coin called Ethereum Classic and that it actually exists. Dogecoin in the news again, of course, setting new all-time highs this week at 69 cents. Cardano finally waking up here after what seems like would be an eternal slumber. But our main focus here today is going to be on Bitcoin retesting the $60,000 level. As you can see, it's been tested so many times and we're going to go over different possibilities of what could happen once we get there. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources and taking you up to that next level. So make sure to smash that like button, guys. And if you're new here or if you've been here for a while, but you still haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys turn on the post notification bell as well so that you're notified as soon as we post videos. All right, guys, so it's been a pretty up and down yet flat week overall since Monday. As you guys can see, we pretty much started the week exactly here. So on Monday, when I did Monday's video, we're pretty much at the same exact price. We're around 58,000. We're again at 58,000 today right now. And after that, we've gone up to 59 and we've gone as low as 52,948. So it has been a crazy, weird up and down week where price just kind of, you know, it's been it's been consolidating. It's, it's gone really nowhere since Monday, right? If you have traded the actual, you know, chop choppiness of the price, then you could have definitely made some profits. I know that um, with the bot that we've been working on, it you know it lives off of the this choppiness because this is this is what it does. This is what it makes profits off of. So um, the bots did really good this week. But um, I mean, if you look at the pattern, you can see that we're grinding higher. We pretty much have set up you know some sort of of bull flag here on the. This is a daily time frame right now. You can see if you just kind of draw that line there right that's where we continue to get rejected and that's right at let's see that's right around that 55 58.5 area more or less and then if you look here this is actually ascending right so if we draw a line like this and connect it from the bottom of this breakout basically you can see that we have an ascending support going up here and then we have a flat top so this is basically a flat top pattern. So like we said before, for a flat top breakout, it is a bullish signal, right? It is a bullish pattern. And you're supposed to buy the first candle that breaks the flat top. So that would pretty much mean a break out of this area. And that's going to be around the area where we're in right now. Really, we need a candle above it to test that 60K range. So a breakout out of this flat top pattern should take us up to 60. And then there, you know, that's going to be a whole other story. Uh, well, we will need enough momentum breaking out of here to continue up. So if we get enough momentum out of this pattern, we can definitely see a potential break above that 60K which could lead us back to our previous all time high. Now, in the event that we don't break out here in the next uh, few days and we break downwards, then we can be seeing levels around here where we we're currently where we basically tested already this week around that fifty four thousand dollar range. As you can see, there's a support here that's, you know, it's held up here, it's held up here held up there that was rejected there. So this is a very strong level here at that fifty four range. Uh, below that, then we're looking at $52,000 if we were to, to, you know, continue dropping down. And then below that, you, you guys already know that $50,000 to $48,000 range is where we got that bounce last time. So those are the supports we're going to be watching in the event 
that um, we do not break out of this pattern and we break down instead. In Ethereum, guys, we're pretty much just continuing on the way up. We did get our first daily red candle here after about nine or 10 green days in a row, right? It couldn't be green forever, but we did get finally our first red candle here. Then uh, we bounce back the day after that. And then we had basically an indecisive doji here that was red. And then today we have another basically indecisive doji here that's green and we're seeing kind of a similar pattern here we've been rejected twice here now at that around that 3600 level so it's turning into somewhat of a flat top it's not as uh as much as uh bitcoin has you know it's been rejected multiple multiple times here it's just hit that area once and then almost got to it again but we got pushed back down here today so if we do continue and break out of this um i definitely expect us to hit at least 3800 to four thousand dollars that's going to be my next target here my main target is obviously four thousand dollars it's only a matter of time guys i imagine possibly by next week we'd be at four thousand already so it's just a matter of when you know it's not a matter of if at this point it's a matter of when so we should definitely be at some point breaking out here and hitting that four thousand dollar mark like i said ethereum has a lot of promising uh potential coming up they have the upgrade in the summer it has the DeFi and nfts both those projects are behind it and are built on its platform and it just has so many things going on guys it's definitely a, a great project to be in a lot of institutional investors now are going uh, a little bit away from bitcoin itself and more into ethereum because ethereum has the bigger upside at this point as far as uh return as you guys can see here on the week it's returned 19 percent on the month it's returned 45 percent in the last three months it's returned 131 percent in the last six months it's returned 383 year to date if you bought on january 1st you've received a return of 379 and then in the last 12 months we've got a return of 786 percent so it's it's a lot right so a lot of institutional investors are switching over we've been hearing a lot of a lot of news that uh they're they're putting money into ethereum so um this is definitely a project that i believe could be hitting um ten thousand dollars by the once it's all said and done here right in the in the next few months now of course there's always potential for the price to go down um so in the event that the price does go down for any reason uh we're definitely looking here at 3400 you see that it's uh, it's kept the price up on two different days here the next levels after that is going to be 3200 you can see here we had uh some support here some support here and then the next main level after that is going to be of course 3000 that's a big big psychological whole number we don't expect the price to go beyond that also it has this fibonacci level here the 23.6 percent fibonacci level there um which should be also help hold that number there um that price there at three thousand so um in the event that we have any type of pullback or consolidation to the downside um those are the levels that we're gonna be watching so far we've covered the analysis on both bitcoin and ethereum and next we're gonna jump into some trade setups that we will be watching over the weekend over the next two days so make sure you get out your pencils guys it's time to jot down some notes and some areas to possibly enter some trades here if you guys are enjoying this video make sure to smash that like button for me guys please 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 i appreciate it so much if you do not like this video look on the on the recommended videos on the side look for someone else's channel and dislike their video okay take your anger out at them i'm sorry i couldn't live up to your standards i apologize uh but dislike their video not mine if you guys are new here make sure to subscribe to the channel guys and turn on that notification bell so you're notified as soon as we post a video five times a week guys so i'm having some technical difficulties and i'm unable to share these trade setups with you guys unless we all hit the like button at the same time so on the count of three we're all going to hit the like button are you guys ready one two three Alrighty guys, so the first thing we're jumping into here is Bitcoin. As you guys can see here, you can see more clearly now that we zoomed in a bit, this flat top pattern that I'm talking about, you can see we've 
gotten faked out a few times here and it looks like we've been faked out yet again so the trade setup that i'm going to be looking for here the first breakout entry that i want here is definitely going to be above 59,000. i'm trying to what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to avoid these fake outs so like before my entry was at like 58, right? I was able to ride it up to around 59 and I made some profits. When it went down, I put my entry again at 58, but it faked me out and it dropped down. So I was like, okay, this time I'll put my entry at 58.5. And then what did it do? It went up, it triggered my entry. It, it went up a little bit and then it's dropped back down. So now <laughs> I'm going to set my entry above 59,000, right? Um, you guys can use 58,000 as well. That's just, the thing is, that's exactly where this line is, where we've been getting rejected a lot. So there's going to be probably consolidation there. So I'm trying to avoid the consolidation and enter above it. So I, I think 59,000 could lead directly to 60,000 and I want to make that thousand dollar profit there. That's what I'm trying to catch. So I'm taking def I'm taking profits on the way up to 60,000. And then my second entry is of course going to be above $60,000. That's going to be my very, very next entry there. I do think we will hit that $60,000 mark. You know, Bitcoin just got to stop playing games and let's just get to it, man. Let's get to work. In the event that we go down for any reason, like we randomly did for no reason at all uh, during this week, just because Janet Yellen was talking. She's always talking. She's always against crypto. I don't know. Nothing has changed. Why does the price uh, go down when she talks on that news? Like, that's, the, that's nothing new, guys. Come on. In the event it does go down, then we're probably looking at entries back here at 57,000 and 56,000. So 56,000, it would be around 56,500. The thing with 56 here, we will be breaking out of this ascending support, right? We're also breaking this Fibonacci level support. So a break of 56 could possibly lead us back to 55, right? Um, 55 would be that next level after 57 that I look for for an, a bounce entry. And then after that, I'd be looking at 54. So those are the levels I'm looking at, right? 57, 55, 54. Those are the three levels I'm looking at. And remember that we enter these on bounce entries. We don't enter them on drops down. So what does that mean? For example, here, when this dropped down, you don't want to enter while it's dropping like this. You wanted to enter when it was uh, bouncing back up so you would have entered here you would not have entered there i hope that makes sense in ethereum you guys can see how it's just slowly grinding up slowly setting up um higher highs higher lows and it's just grinding man it's grinding i think that we're going to see some sort of breakout soon to the new highs we probably should be hitting i would imagine four thousand dollars in the next week or so possibly sooner it just depends right we've had we've already had big move so there could be some consolidation due here but the way ethereum's been lately it's a possibility that it just continues up and just doesn't care right it, it doesn't matter it's just gonna go up so the entry that we're gonna be looking for here is above 3600 um, that's that that all-time high so we're looking for entries above that that could lead us up to around 37 to 3800 possibly beyond that to 4000 which is my uh, next main target for ethereum so that's pretty much what we're watching for here that's going to be the main trade we're looking for if for any reason it comes lower uh, we'll be taking we're happy to take entries at 3500 we're happy to take entries at 3400 as well 3400 is going to be the the more uh, main level if you if you pull up the uh the daily here you can see it a little bit more clear that 3400 has acted as a very nice support here so 3400 you could do 3500 just risk less uh 3400 i feel a little bit more confident in um after that it's going to be uh 3200 and then 3000 those would be the the levels that i'm using remember as bounce entries you don't buy when it's dropping you buy it when it's bouncing back up and that's it guys we have done it we've completed yet another week we survived another week in the cryptocurrency market i have now survived for five years in this market i still haven't gone broke i've only got richer 
and I hope you guys have been doing the same by following this channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. If you guys missed any of this week's videos, you guys can see them here on the page. We did an update on BlockFi and why we're leaving BlockFi. We did a two hour stream where we spoke about a bunch of different altcoins. So if you guys are altcoin traders, I recommend you to check this one out. And yesterday we dropped a video on Dogecoin on its possibilities of going to a dollar. Um, we explain the fundamentals and the story, the origin story behind Dogecoin and what could potentially happen this weekend with Elon Musk going on Saturday Night Live, the Doge father himself, um, and why it could potentially mean a move up to a dollar. So thanks guys, I will see you all next week. Be safe, make profits. As always, peace and love.